Hey guys, so I have something a little bit new and maybe exciting for you today. Should I do a little backstory? So Leticia, who I have done a video collaboration with before, myself and Tashina from Logical Harmony have this like ongoing group message and once a week one of us will be like, hey, we should do a collab and then we just don't do it, but we doing it now. So we're doing a top 10 vegan beauty favorites tag. So um, you're all welcome to participate in this afterwards as well. Let's just get started. So the first one is a primer or a setting powder. And I don't like primers. I don't think that they particularly do anything. I've never really found what I liked. But before I put my makeup on, I always use the Osha Atmosphere Protection Cream. It gives a great base. Your face is like evenly moisturized, but not greasy. And I just think that does the job and I don't need a primer. And for setting powder, I wanted to mention Too Faced Primed and Poreless, and I picked the solid pressed one because I think that it's a little bit easier to use on the go, less messy, and just a really great idea. It sets my makeup really well, it leaves my skin feeling very smooth, it doesn't look overly chalky or powdery. I just think it's a great product. So the next one is foundation, and I did have uh, kind of a hard time picking one, honestly, because I do have a lot of really great vegan foundations. So if you want me to do a whole video of vegan foundations, let me know below because that is something I can do. Anyway, so I figured I would try and pick something that I thought would suit the most people. So I've gone for the Illuminari Concealing Mineral Foundation. It's a semi-matte finish. It's oil-free and has an SPF of 20. I love that it comes in this little container. I think that it's awesome because you can squeeze every last drop out. The tiniest blob of this goes a really long way, so you could just dot like a couple dots on your face and it's going to cover the whole thing and you'll probably have put too much on. I think it's a great coverage, you can mix this with moisturiser if you want it to be more sheer, and you can also layer it if you want it to be a little bit more full coverage, but one layer of this usually does the trick, so I tend to like go back to this even when I do find a new foundation I like I always end up going back to this so that is my favorite foundation. Concealer was another thing I had a hard time picking one of because there's so many that I like and I wanted to go for the one that I thought would suit the most people so I've gone for the Cover FX Cream Concealer. Again I love it because you can squeeze every last drop out. You need the tiniest amount it's very concentrated you literally could just touch it to the inner corner of each eye and you would have enough to cover it. So you can get a very natural look by doing it that way or you can do the whole triangle highlight thing with this and it works really well too. Um, and I would say use this with your fingers just to add a little bit of warmth or um, a damp beauty blender. So number three is blush slash bronzer. And because I couldn't decide on one of each of those, I've gone for a great all rounder which is the e.l.f. St. Lucia contouring blush and bronzer palette. Very much like the NARS duos you can get, the blush is very much like their orgasm blush and I just think it's a great combo, very inexpensive and it's going to suit a large variety of people assuming that your skin tone is lighter than this. But if it's not, they do have another great one which is um, a much darker bronzer. The blush isn't really a blush, I would say it's more of a highlighter for very dark skin tones so they do have another option if you are a lot darker. So next up is highlight, and this might be something that you've not seen me mention before, but I decided on the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This comes in different packaging now, and I think they've slightly changed the name, but it's essentially the same product. This will last you probably your whole lifetime. Even if you are a fan of the old strobing of the face, I think this is going to last you forever. So it's just a liquid illuminizer. You can mix this with foundation. You can use it below foundation, on top of foundation. And it's just a really beautiful color. As you can see, it's like a champagne-y, more beige shade. I think it's complimentary on a lot of skin tones. Even if you are very fair, I think this is going to work quite well. As well as if you're a bit darker, you could even use this as a base and then put a slightly darker highlight on top. And I just think when the light catches it, it will be really beautiful and glowy. So that's a really great one and I love that you can mix it with things or use it by itself. So next is a shadow palette and again I wanted to pick something that would probably suit the most people and I've gone for the e.l.f. Mad for Mattes palette. I do have a ton of info on this already so I'll link that all below. Great colour selection, great colour payoff, some are a little bit chalky but as long as you're careful they do apply very nicely 
and I just think that for like ten dollars you really can't go wrong with this plus depending on your um, coloring you might even be able to use one of these as an eyebrow powder too so the next one is eyeliner and this was really a no-brainer for me is the Kat Von D tattoo liner in trooper the pigmentation is insane. It's so easy to use because it's just a very fine brush tip, which is my, um, I prefer that method anyway, versus a felt tip, because I think felt tips can get a bit bobbly on the end and they aren't as precise. So although this um, does appear to be a very precise pointy tip, it's also very easy to work with. You can really butt it right up to your lash line and just kind of draw it along and uh, that's not a very good explanation, but it's an incredible eyeliner. Although it is long lasting, when you do go to take off, I use um, jojoba oil and it's very easy. It doesn't like stain or you don't have to rub and irritate your eyes. So um, excellent eyeliner. So there is no brow product mentioned on this list, but I have to throw it in there. So I'm gonna throw it in with the eyeliner because it kind of is like an eyeliner. It's the Kat Von D Tattoo Brow. It's essentially the same as the eyeliner, but a brow color um, stays on well, super easy. You can do hair strokes with it, amazing. So next up is mascara, and I do have a few favorites. I will link my um, the mascara post below if you wanna browse through that, but I wanted to mention something that I knew was gentle, effective, and just made your lashes look really beautiful. So I've gone for the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara. I love the formula, I love the brush. I don't usually like giant brushes like this, but this one somehow is just perfect. It makes really easy work of it. And I just think it's a really, really great mascara. Um, and it's very easy to find too, because Pacifica are sold in Target and Ulta, I believe. And of course you can order from them online if that's easier. Lip product was another one that I found difficult. The ones I really wanted to mention the most were the Dose of Colors Terra Collection. Sadly, I, they're not available right now and I don't know if they're going to be again. Stone is the one I have on right now. I don't know if you can like get these on eBay or anything, um, but they're just a beautiful trio. So that would be my favorites. The only thing I don't like about them is that the Doe for Applicator is so shitty. It's like the lumpiest, dumpiest looking thing ever. You can't be very precise with it. Um, so I use a brush, but the formula makes up for it. And because those aren't currently available, and I know that's really annoying, I wanted to mention the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita, which is very close to the one I have on right now. It lasts very well, and I guess this would be a joint favorite for me. I just like that those come in a trio and you can mix them, but this is a gorgeous color, lasts well on the lips, and I think it's complementary to a lot of different skin tones from very fair up to very dark, so great lip product and then the last category is nail product I was gonna mention Madame Glam gel polishes but I know not everybody is into gels or doesn't feel confident in doing that so I'm mentioning the OCC nail lacquer in pleasure model it's a gorgeous um, slightly pearlized pink and it just makes your nails look so polished but kind of natural and it suits so many different people and yeah, short nails, long nails, whatever. Pleasure Model from OCC is a amazing nail polish. So those are my 10 vegan beauty favorites. Um, I would love to hear what yours are, so if you do make a video of this tag, definitely link it below so I can check it out. Oh, of course, I will link to Sheena and Leticia's videos down below. Um, I, it's weird to me to call her Leticia because I call her TT and I think that that is just her name, so, um, I'm a color TT. And also, you should follow Miss TT on Snapchat because she is so fucking weird and um, just like lovely. So you should go check her out. And I don't know if Tashina is on Snapchat, but if she is, I will link that below too. Everything as usual down in my crotch. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye. And a couple last things, because I don't know if I mentioned it because I'm having some extreme brain fog right now. Dose of color stone is what's on my lips. And um, if you've been admiring my nails, I have a video on how I did this. So I will link that below too. And now that's actually it.